Hello everybody and welcome to my ninth video in my Java tutorial series. And in this episode we're going to be going over the boolean type and boolean operators. So I'm going to start out by teaching you how to declare and initialize a boolean. And in order to do this there are two things, uh, not that we must do, but there are two things that we need, or the two ways in which we can uh, declare, or actually initialize the boolean. So obviously it's you know, it's similar to the uh, string and double. It's actually the same thing. So, if you want to create one, you just can type boolean b, and of course this would be declaring it. Would just be to end that line like that. But we're gonna initialize it in this line, and we're just gonna put. I'm sorry, we're just gonna put true. So what a boolean is, by the way, for those that don't know, is it a, is a variable which can only have um, one of two values, and those values are either true or false. So it's you know it it may not seem very useful um, right now, but as you get into programming, I mean it is one of the most uh, useful things. It's probably like I use it all the time when I'm doing simple things, even. But we'll get to that later. So that's one way to to initialize it is just to simply assign it either true or false. And another way that you can do is do boolean. We'll do n, and we'll give it. Let's see. We will give it a a value kind of. It, we'll assign another value, but in a different way. So what we're going to do is boolean n, and we'll do x is less. We'll do x is greater than zero. And this is where we're going to run into um, one of our first operators that I want to talk about. Boolean operators that I'm going to talk about, and that is the and sign, which is um, I'll talk about it in a minute. So. Okay, x is greater than 0 and x is less than 10. That means, actually, I'm going to make this 11. So that means this is going to be ranged between 1 to 10. And I'll just declare x right here. It'll be x is equal to 5. So what this first operator here does is and, and for those, it just means and. So it's testing both this and this to make sure that they are both true. If one of these turns with and, if one of these are false, then the whole statement is going to be false. No matter, even if the other one's true, it's going to equal false. With an and sign, or with the and operator, both statements have to be true in order for the whole thing to be true. But that is simply only for the and sign. Don't take that to heart with all the other operators, as they will change. But I'll get to those in a minute. So as you can see right here, I have in x is equal to 5, and x the statements that we want to test is that x is either greater than 0 and x is less than 11. I just want to compile that. So, as you can tell, you know, this means it's going to be between 1 and 10, and it is, so this whole statement is going to um, equal to true. Like, if I were to print out boolean n, it would print out the value true. So, that's very simple. So, the next piece that I want to touch on with um, booleans are uh, the OR operator. And actually I'm just going to use the same line and that's going to be similar and that's going to be OR. So actually I'm going to talk more in depth about AND for just really quickly. For those of you who've never seen this or never seen like AND before in a statement like that, um, if you've ever like you, if you've been in algebra I'm sure you've seen it before but what it does is it's just testing whether this value but it, it's like if this were a statement like if in algebra, if I were to write, you know, x is greater than zero and x is less than eleven, that that would be telling, like that would be an answer that I'd give to a problem, and that would be telling the, uh, you know, whoever the whoever's looking at your problem that the statement is in the the value of x is either one, ten, or anywhere in between those. So, I mean, hopefully you understand that. I, I again. Algebra really helps if you've taken, if you've taken that, it really helps to understand a lot of the concepts, a lot of the math concepts in Java. So the next one I want to talk about is the OR sign. And if you can't see this, they are simple, they're just um, straight lines. And the line key is, it's shift backslash, if you've never seen it before. Mine is above the enter key and below the backspace key on the uh, regular American keyboard. I have a laptop so it might be slightly off but I'm pretty sure that's right where it is. You should be able to see it. Sometimes I've noticed it, it looks like like 
a dotted vertical line kind of just like two segments um, but that's the same thing you know if you can't find it you know just start pressing buttons you'll find it eventually but it's a shift key so um, similarly to and though it's it's just testing whether these either this one or this one is true the, but the difference between this and and is that like I said with and both statements have to be true in order for the whole thing to equal true but with an or only one statement has to be true now with the way I currently have it set both of them are true but to see like if I were to set this to negative 5 x would not be greater than 0 and x would not be less than 11 well it would be but it well actually this would test as true but I'll it has to be with an or statement it's slightly different but hopefully you see what it would be true because it's x is less than 11 but it's not greater than uh, <coughs> sorry it's not greater than 0 so however if i were it's more or is more commonly used like if i were to switch these signs around and do x is less than 0 and x is greater than 11 which means it cannot be anywhere between 1 and 10 so this would actually equal false because it's, it doesn't it has a range and it has to be you know it can't be uh, it doesn't allow for that range I, it, it, these are like barriers kind of so if you had it on a number line it would not be allowed to be inside that section um, show you right here just what it prints out sorry print line and to print out a boolean just same thing like string just put the value of it or not the value but put the uh, name if we print that out it's going to equal false because as as you can see, x is in between. <coughs> x is in between these val values. So, and you know, like I said, um, I'll, I'll go over this. Let's see, just like one or one of them ha is. If one of them is true, the whole statement is going to equal true. If both of them are true, the whole statement is going to equal true. And if neither of them are true, then the whole then the statement is going to equal false. So that's how that works. So aside from that, I'm going to talk about some other. Um, I want to talk about some other operators to use uh, for booleans. And the first one I'm going to go over. <coughs> the first one I'm going to go over. I'm actually going to make a different line here. Is the exclamation mark, which means not. Uh, so if I were to have boolean. Let's see. C equals. Um, or we'll start it like this. Is not true. What this is saying is that boolean C is. It's basically the same thing as this line. Um, it's saying boolean boolean C is false, like this one. I could simply declare it as false, but you know, it's just it's saying it it's not equal to this. So if I were to have, um, I can also do it like if I were to put it up here, like if. Let's see if int c. Okay, I can't do it up here. Sorry, this is only a boolean operator. I don't know, but um, yeah, like I'm tr I'm just trying to show you. Like if int x wasn't five, you can't actually do that, like I just showed. But that's basically what it's saying. It's it's just saying it's not true. So it's very simple to understand. But um, another thing I could do. Um, I'm gonna show you an if statement real quick. You don't have to worry about this because it's not actually we haven't gotten to it yet. We will soon, but not yet. And uh, what I need to do, I need to delete this, which means I'll just rename this one. There we go. So this is testing. Say I were to take this line, let's copy it in here, and I'll print out x instead. So now I have boolean c, which equals false, and down here I set, I put the statement if c is not equal to true and this is testing whether it is or isn't um so you know if it's not testing it's not declaring it to not be equal to true it's testing whether or not it is equal to true and i'll show another one which does the similar way which should help you remember more easily but cuz you'll get used to using the other operator but for now you know if c is not equal to true then it's going to print this out so if i were to print this out it's just going to print out 5, seeing as I made it false. But when I come back in here, um, well, that's that, I guess. And But the other one I want to talk about, too, which should help you understand that one a little bit more, is uh, equal equal. 
two e two equal signs are an operator that tests whether or not the statement is true or you know or is false. Say if I were to put x here equals five, if I do x equals five, then the statement's going to be true and it's going to print this out. Um, like I said, I haven't gotten to if statements, so this you know if statements just you know if it's testing whether or not the statement's true, then it's going to perform whatever you have inside of the um, inside of your brackets here. But we'll get into if statements in a later video. But that is the other operator I want to talk about. It's simply testing, doing the same thing. It's just uh, testing. Uh, well, essentially, actually, it's, it's the opposite thing from the other op from uh, exclamation mark equal sign. But they are doing similar actions. They're just testing whether or not this is equal to five, and it is. So it's going to print that out. And that is all I want to talk about um, with operators actually that's that's all I have to say so it's a very simple uh, video sorry it seemed kinda long but um, booleans can come in handy you might not need them yet but you know if you feel like playing around with them go ahead and uh, they can be extremely useful so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video